forest maze, and we're working our way now to, uh, to find Gino. Noob sneakers, uh, is the video working now? I was having some video problems when I first started streaming. Um, just making sure that they're working now. You can see my RPG, the chat, and uh, my webcam. The fact that you're saying pardon makes me assume everything's okay. So. Gamer, I spent a good chunk of the weekend in addition to cleaning up my UI here. Uh, I cleaned up my VODs on YouTube. So everything I've done so far is on YouTube. If you want to go back and check something out that you may have missed, uh, it is now available for that. Paul Boyer being a pretty tough boss, the guy we're heading to right now. But hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah. We're full on our inventory, so let's use up some of these mushrooms. Greetings, Shuriyasha. be Bowyer, right? If you say Bowyer fast enough, it sounds like Boyer, so... Boyer, Boyer, Boyer. He is a human bow, or a living bow, so... We established on... Last Friday, the theme with Smithy, given that he is a Smithy, all of his lieutenants are like living weapons. So the first guy we fought is kind of like a dagger. Hopefully, there's the big sword that's in the castle. Uh, there's Gino. Sorry to get worried. Go up into the left when we lose track of it. <laughs> yeah, I always say Marley. I think Marley is a prettier name than Meryl. What's the most egregious pronunciation I've heard? I've heard Chocobo is Chicabo before, but it's pretty bad. Everyone seems to get Sephiroth right, which is pretty impressive. Ha! Here we go, this is what we want. Yeah, see, 
Marley, Robo, Luca, Magus, Chrono. We got Bowyer. Run for cover then, yeah. Yeah, I'll roll with Bo Bowyer. <laughs> Sleep. Is uh do you pronounce it Nalo or Mello, Shuriyasha? I could hear by your argument about it being Bowyer that it would be uh Mello, like marshmallow. But I've heard a lot of people say Mallow instead of Mello. Alright, Gino. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a cosmic power. An unpronounceable name. Yeah, I've heard people say Chrono. That's pretty bad. If it's based on a real word, you don't really have an excuse. First one for me is uh, I'm fairly sure that you should be pronouncing it Titus in Final Fantasy X, but uh, Kingdom Hearts officially pronounces it as Titus, so a lot of people say that. And I guess Titus makes sense for Japanese um, because you know T-I would be pronounced as T in Japanese. But Titus certainly sounds cooler, and it you know, goes with the word Tide. Mario wants to fight. Now, I've always said Yuffie, but uh, I know a lot of people, I think the official source is Yuffie. You know, the, the, the most classic mispronunciation is uh, Kenshi from Final Fantasy VII. It's based on an actual, like, Gaelic word. And of course, Gaelic is a ridiculous language. It, nothing is ever pronounced the way it looks phonetically. Um, but it's supposed to be pronounced Ketsi. Everyone pronounces it Kainsith, which I think is fine. There is no reason for you to know that that's pronounced Ketsi. Yeah, I say Titus as well. Right. No problem, dude. Last episode of Dragon Ball Z, Gino was a toy that was owned by this kid named Gaz in Rose Town. Uh, that some kind of power from the Star Road came down and brought it to life. Thank you, Cat. Yeah, I spent this weekend working on it and cleaning it up. Eh, yeah, whatever. It's not important, right? <sighs> Do we really want to waste MP on Gino? have him use a uh, honey syrup though because I'm gonna use super jump a lot. the honey syrup out of the way then in case he locks our items. Alright, what's he gonna do? 
with that. Alright, nice block, Gino. Ah, he doesn't hit two, he's not too bad. Block Mallow. You hear that little sound effect, that means that I successfully timed the hit. The regular hits aren't particularly hard to time, so if I miss them, you should insult me and shame me in chat. Right, no more regular attacks. There's a way to dodge that, I don't know. If you're in chat and you're a big fan of Mario RPG, and you know the correct timing for some of these weirder abilities, like uh, that static shock. Like, when I should press the button to dodge it, let me know, because uh, I don't know them. You see that where it said got a freebie? Uh, that means occasionally you get a free item back after you use it. Alright! Got Boyer! Good job, everybody! Hit it! Flower box, that's like five flower points. Chiriyasha, apparently every attack in this entire game is blockable. There's a specific time that you need to press the button to block everything. Um, sometimes it's an audio cue, sometimes it's a visual cue. Um, the top speedrunners, apparently, the way they beat this game is they're just frame perfect for everything. They dodge everything. Of course you're more than just a doll. You're a sweet, like, star magic man. Oh, man. I think it would have been cool if uh, Gino had been a... A, uh, Smash Brothers character, but I think he might be owned by Squaresoft or Square Enix, so they might need to ask for third-party permission to include him. Notice he hasn't been in any of the uh, other Mario RPG games since this one. This is the only one that was made by Squaresoft. Right, we're learning a very important part of the story now. There's a Star Road, which you might remember from Super Mario World, uh, and in this game, the Star Road is what's responsible for wishes being granted. At the beginning of the game, a big sword fell from the sky, broke up the Star Road, and landed into uh, Bowser's Keep. Gino could have a cool move set. I could see him having a really cool, um, like, Final Smash as well. Star Road, my fluffy little friend. Of course, we gotta get the things. <laughs> I always read that as a kid as love, but it's hard to pronounce, so call me Gino. What a dick! The other dolls were Mario, Peach, and Bowser, so... This is star number two. Check out the arrow hanging out there in the corner. He's gonna report on everything he just learned. Get that. All right. Two out of seven. Can you actually go into these? Gino, who's searching for the pieces of the Star Road, joins Mario and Mallow. Things are looking up. But now the, uh... The arrows and be up to no good, you know? Smithy had no idea. It was just a coincidence that they broke the star road when they landed. Alright. I don't think you can actually go in these, can you? No, I think so. Maybe there's one you can. Alright, moving along. 
on Dilly Dell. All right, so previously, Rose Town, everyone was paralyzed by uh, Bowyer's <laughs> arrows he was hitting people with. They're all healed now. Let's go check in on Gaz, the owner of uh, Gino. do a cool um, charade session here. Squaresoft plays with the notion that most JRPG characters are silent protagonists. By keeping Mario silent, you know, Mario, no one assumed Mario was silent, right? You play like Mario 64 and it's like, it's a me, a Mario. Uh, but in this one he's silent and he only communicates by these funny little charades. I wish it were practical to like fall on your face in real life uh, when someone says something ridiculous. It's a funny, it's kind of like an anime slash video game exclusive way to react to something. It's really funny. <laughs> All right, finger shot. <laughs> as a kid I found Gino's sprite confusing. I think if you look at the little orange thing in the middle of his face, that's his hair and his eye is just down into the right of that. When I was a kid I thought that was his nose and his eyes were directly above that and he looked like a clown. No, he looks way sweeter than that. Come back here later, there'll be an Easter egg sleeping in that bed. There's a hidden chest. I noted earlier that when I jump up in the air, occasionally I'll, I'll hit a hidden chest and get myself. If you know that there's a chest somewhere and I'm missing it, go ahead and call it out in chat. Sure, man. How about none of that? I don't need any of that crap. Now you, on the other hand, I also don't need any of your crap. Moving on. Now, the moment of truth is about to arrive. Can we do the Yoshi minigame on um, <laughs> on an emulator with a wireless controller? There's a little bit of latency. We'll give it a try. Why not? Remember, Kid Dylan had trouble doing that for whatever reason. Yeah, so I could like technically dodge that drain, for example. I just have to know what the, uh, the window is to press the button. Wow, Mallow, he's pretty hard. Mallow used to be kind of crappy. Super Okega, greetings. Okay, I hope this weekend wasn't too crazy with email notifications this weekend. I was trying to clean up my VODs on YouTube. Every time I was editing a video, I'm sure it was sending out an update to everybody. Yeah, my uh, my VODs are all clean now. If you have missed 
any of these games we've played so far and you want to catch up, uh, I record absolutely everything we do on Twitch. So right now there's a playlist for all of Earthbound, which we beat last week. Uh, there's also a playlist for Mother 3. We're up to Chapter 5 in that. You can go back and catch up on that sometime. Uh, and I've also started a playlist for Mario RPG. Cool. You know, there's a way to get that, and I don't remember how, so... <laughs> ah, secret. Can I just, like, sneak in there? No. Can't, like, duck or something? No, it's okay. It's just there to taunt me. I like how they kind of take this like classic Mario level here and fit it into the RPG formula. I mentioned that a couple times, you gotta appreciate how Squaresoft took an established franchise like Mario and plugged a lot of stuff into the RPG. Oh, VOD is video on demand, so it's taking these live recordings and recording them for you to review later. I gotta get Geno some armor. This game's pretty kind though with dying, like you're only dead in combat when you get out, I think it sets you back to one hit point. Yeah, see, he's fine. Um, well, Kat asks, what was the original reason for Mario branching into RPGs? The answer is that RPGs are crazy popular in Japan. Like, uh, Dragon Quest is a franchise that everyone in Japan plays, like from little kids under the age of 10 to like old people on the subway. Um, it's basically a national holiday whenever a Dragon Quest RPG game comes out. So the answer is that Dragon Quest games are super popular in Japan. Uh, RPGs are extremely popular in Japan, so they're taking this popular genre and applying it to a beloved existing franchise. Of course, you know, RPGs are also popular in the U.S., but not to the extent that they are in Japan. I think that that remains true even to this day. And interestingly, this game was made by Squaresoft, which makes the Final Fantasy games. And you'll see later on, there's some very explicit Final Fantasy references. There's a hidden boss named Culex that's... He's not from a specific Final Fantasy, but he's, he's basically a Final Fantasy boss. The music is from Final Fantasy IV. Uh, he's got like four crystals, which is pretty cool. so it's already a little bit harder since uh, I'm on an emulator. Uh, record what? Like music? He's gonna let me train, I hope. Yes, please. I think it's like L, R, L, R, O, A, and B. here to beat.
tough call, man. Well, you could always watch the VOD of this, so we'll be loading it later. Alright. Yoshi's a new boss around here. sit there and farm cookies. I'm not worried about it at the moment. Moleville, I understand, has one of the most difficult parts of the game for speedrunners to do accurately. It's a little ways ahead. It's a minecart race. We're going to save frequently in this game, particularly because saving is not only painless, but actually kind of satisfying to jump on those little save boxes. Get all our health back, get all our flower points back. Let's, uh. Well, we'll hold on to that flower box we got from Bowyer. Bowyer just sounds really southern, though. Uh, Shiryasha. Like, Boyer. Bowyer. It's like people who say, um. Anyone who says lawyer instead of lawyer. It's a very southern drawl kind of thing to say lawyer. Dinah's trapped in the mines. Sell me stuff for Gino. Right. Um, this doesn't really tell me how strong it is, does it? Already got a finger shot for free. Let's get some symbols. Let's get a shirt, cape. I don't remember whether that's good or not, but let's pick it up just in case. And let's try out uh, the punch gloves. Punch glove is an upgrade. Cool. Mega shirt, what's the difference? So the work pants are worse in magic defense, but they increase your attack, and I'm all about increasing my attack. So we'll go ahead and get, uh, we get work pants for, for anybody. <laughs> Alright, now everyone's gonna be buff. Who needs defense? sets of work pants. So I don't know too too much about uh yeah it sounds good man take the attack bonus. I don't really need the magic bonus. I'd rather things die faster. Um I don't know too too much about speedrunning this game, but I love hearing obscure shit about speedruns, so if you know something about how people speedrun this, let me know. Like if there's a glitch or something like that. Let me know. Chests. Very much later in the game, we're going to talk to an NPC here that's going to let us fight, uh, give us one of the items we need to fight Culex, the hidden boss. That bucket will be important there. Star in the middle. sound. If you remember last time we saw Bowser, he had like an army that was three times the size. I've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. I know your son was playing uh, Mario RPG. Did you see who all can be in your party in this game?
a surprise then. Get it! Oh, maybe not. <laughs> You're not Mario, you can't jump. <laughs> All day. I'll be a Koopa's uncle. Yep. Sure. If you missed it, the news is that there are people trapped. It's so suspicious that I can jump over here, but there's no secret chest. Try to level Gino up a little bit. Oh wow. How many people are just walking around all the time thinking about Mario? They seem to mention it frequently. Larry. Oh, Mallow's totally one hit point. <laughs> Let's try to kill the clusters first this time. We don't want them blowing up and killing us. Don't mess around with the settings. They shouldn't be having frame rate slowdowns on uh, Super Mario RPG. I know this is one of the trickier ROMs to get right, though. I do own this game both on uh, console and on uh, virtual console. It's just easier to stream from my computer. So I encourage everyone to own this if possible. Larry, like Larry Koopa? Today we'll get to the Paper Mario games, which are kind of like spiritual successors to Mario RPG. They are not made by Squaresoft, but they're still quite good games. No, that's irritating enough. I'm going to see if I can fix it real quick. One second, folks. I want to say it's speed, yeah, maybe? Can we do zero? Let's see if that helps at all. Yeah, that, that seems to be helping, actually. Definitely do gotta fight some of these guys, otherwise uh, Gino's gonna fall pretty far behind in experience. Yeah, that little sound that played right when I attacked means I pressed the button at the right time. It's a little less clear with Gino. What is that to? Just damage? Okay. Mario's a little more obvious, as is uh, Mallow with his symbols. Let's not let the Babam blow up on us. It's the bomb. All I'm 
an emulator, I could cheat that, right? I could press save state as soon as it starts, see if I get it right or not, and then reload, but that would be lame, so let's not do that. One in three chance, eh? Nope. All right, we fixed that silly glitch we were getting last time where we didn't get any text here. All right, so there's a method of my madness here. When I pick my level, I'm looking at each of the bonuses. HP always gives you at least three. POW gives you at least one. And S gives you at least one. So the fact that S is giving me a three bonus to magic attack, I'm gonna take that. That seems like the better level right now. So that gives me one. That gives me six, so he probably wants hit points for Gina. Cool. If it wasn't for the Twitch delay, I'd pull you guys on which one I should do on the Lucky. Maybe I'll wait on the next one. Why not? It's only like 15 seconds, right? Then you guys can be responsible for my failure. What's up, dude? Pommel. Gotta go find a bomb. I'm on it, buddy. Not just any bomb. I always said Bob-omb as a kid, but then I saw the uh, critically panned uh, Super Mario Brothers movie where they call it a bomb. 20 seconds, yeah. All right. One day we'll get we'll have the technology. Although that's kind of a nice dynamic to chat. Okay, need to get a bomb for this one too. <laughs> All right, I'll just do it without you. You don't get lucky on the freeway. This asshole again. Crocko is the dick who uh, stole Mallow's frog coin earlier in the game. He stole all my coins! Son of a bitch! One day. Cross our fingers. But help out, there's a lot of stuff that you can't do on Twitch right now because of the delay. Like, you can't do uh, a co-host who's not in the same room as you very easily. Um, there are some party games that you could realistically do with a stream if it were real time. But because of the delay, you can't. Like, you don't know Jack. I probably should have healed. Well, I'm, uh, I'm doing alright. Sure that that's a lovely sound to hear. Um, I could do that for as long as I can keep it up. Uh, but each additional jump, I have to be more and more precise. Like, I have maybe a, you know, 20 frame window to press the button uh, the first time I jump, and then it becomes like a 19 frame window, and then an 18 frame window, and so on. Eventually, you have to be frame perfect and press it at exactly the right time. Which, with an emulator and a wireless controller, is not super easy. I'm not here to get my 100 super jumps, though. There is an optional side quest to get 100 super jumps. Whoa! Check out my items! Bad timing, too. <laughs> gotta finish him off now without, uh... Without getting killed. Let's see how much MP we have remaining, or flower points. I could super jump again, but I'm gonna save it just in case I need to use an HP rain. Mallow heal himself. Alright, wasn't even a problem. Later, dude. Pick the 
of a bomb. All right, that's what we were trying to do here. All right, got our coins back, got our items back. Fill this up on health, fill this up on flower points for free. I will take it. Back here, you can get a uh, a star that you can keep getting. The stars make it so whenever you touch an enemy, you just kill them and get the experience. Kind of a place you can come back and level up really fast. Yeah, one sec, guys. I gotta turn something on. Uh, SNES here in a moment. Um, we are turning on this guy. Yeah, that's the ticket. Almost done. Appreciate your patience. And we're back. Thank you. Oh, this is the one I was thinking of. <laughs> Call it like flower attack or something since it's flower points. Okay, we're probably gonna use uh, Malo's thunderstorm on these guys. Hopefully we can knock them all out. Maybe. Nope, not good enough. But they're not that big of a deal. So. This chain will be able to kill this. Yeah, it's pretty bad, man. I forgot there was a star in there. It's okay. There's, we'll have other chances to excel. <laughs> I think we find out this just does damage. Again, though, I don't know when to press the button. There are some, mostly the physical attacks, the, uh, the tell when you should press the button to defend is pretty obvious, but attacks like that are a lot less clear. Button. 
Yeah, it would have. It would have been nice if we had been able to use the star to kill those guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. Just making the game more challenging. save point back to back would be my guess anyway that's rude What is this guy's deal? He's like an egg person, maybe? His name is Punchinello. The name's Nello. Punchinello. Maybe I'm just not like understanding what his sprite is supposed to be. He's kind of got a bomb thing going on. He's got like a little fuse coming out of his head. I guess I should look up the concept of Punchinello. about uh, Super Jump is you kind of know when you screw it up, like it's not the question. Right, we're gonna try to Thunderbolt to kill those if we can. Individually attacking them is not really gonna be worth the price. Oh, it didn't matter, we beat them down. Oh, okay. Thunderbolt alone isn't gonna be enough to take those out, but we'll, we'll use it to see what we can do. That was bad. Better than that. Come on, Mario! Nice. Nice. Very good. Let's keep doing that. We want. do that much for me, does it? It just resummons it. That doesn't look good. So Shira Raj, uh, sorry, Shira Yasha, are you a uh, Mario fan or RPG fan? Mario RPG fan? When did you first play this game?
Now we still have plenty of mushrooms. No more super jumping. Remember, everyone in this game shares, uh... Shares flower points. Oh yeah? I'm a big Chrono Trigger fan. So I was at, uh, PAX Prime this last year, and, uh, Hironobu Sakaguchi did a panel, he's the Final Fantasy creator. Um, they're asking him questions, one of the questions they asked was, you know, what are you guys ever planning on doing in Chrono Trigger 2? You know, Chrono Cross is the sequel to Chrono Trigger, but it's very different, different team made it. Um, very different game, and he said he wanted to do a Chrono Trigger 2, but the, uh, the higher-ups, the bosses, weren't having it, so it, it could have happened. Very close to happening. Bosses would not happen. Chrono Trigger will be definitely on this stream. The plan right now is to have different blocks. We'll have a block that's like classic games that everybody knows are awesome. Um, some obscure games that are really cool but fewer people have played, and then once I'm able to add a third block, the third block will be blind playthroughs. So like, I never played Mother 3 before, I'm playing that blind right now. Uh, but Chrono Trigger is definitely going to go in that classic block. We'll try to get the, uh, the best ending, and then we'll try to get the uh, developer ending. Which is where you beat the game with only Chrono. Shit. That answers half of that question. Let's do it. I went from two to three really fast. It's a pretty long game, though. I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to Seaside Town. <laughs> like, the dungeon there is, uh, it's not that it's difficult, it's just... <laughs> it's based on, um, like, depth perception and not being able to see behind certain parts of the map and trying to have, like, a mental map of what it looks like. You'll see, I'll, I'll probably be stuck on it, screwing it up for a good 15, 20 minutes. Alright, it's three out of seven. Shiri Asha, do you have a favorite uh, end game party composition in Chrono Trigger? I usually do uh, Chrono Frog and Robo, or Magus Frog and Robo. Yeah, so I think she's supposed to be holding like an infant, but I always thought it looked like an ice cream cone. Yeah, she's got like a baby with her. So I can kind of see it. Air wide a break, beat a jump, get mushrooms, press X, or something. This is the one that gives uh, you Seven. This kind of graphical style, you can have these kind of parallax graphics. It's a special Super Nintendo feature. There's also some sort of gra uh, parallax graphics in the Genesis. Whenever you see something like this in the Super Nintendo, it's mode 7. Actually, we kind of want to do badly the first time we do this. You get rewards for um, coming back later and beating your old time. So we don't want to have a really awesome time the first time and not be able to get those rewards easily. At least that's the excuse I'll make for falling constantly here. So we can break to make those turns a little bit more easily. We're about half done. There's a cap to the mushrooms. 
sure if you can stock the triples. Yeah, mine's the same deal. I just like Frog and Robo. <laughs> and you're right, it's hard to not use Magus. Like, I kind of try to ditch Chrono when I get him. Sub 3? <laughs> Dude, I've already screwed up quite a bit to get sub three. We'll, we'll try. It's taking about sub three minutes. What the speedrunners go for here? Now, I think what actually makes this sequence difficult for speedrunners is that it is like physical uh, dexterity that's required here more so than like taking the correct route or something. A lot of Mario RPG is dexterity based, like being able to hit those uh, those timed hits at just the right time and defend at just the right time. This one in particular is pretty tricky. Let's do sub five! Woo! Is, uh, is sub 1 possible? Like, I feel like I heard about some speedrunner and came sub quick doing sub 1. That might be crazy. A friend of mine is way more into speedrunners. I, I like speedrunning, but I don't, like, seek it out as actively. He was telling me about this fun part. Level in talk. over. <laughs> we were close. That must have been it. It must have been two minutes. <laughs> it's okay. We got a record to beat next time now. We'll get that, get that reward. Sub 301 height. <laughs> oh yes. 3068. Get it? The kids are named Dinah and Mike. guys work for Smithy. The Sniffets, which are similar to the Shy Guys, work for Booster. The Sniffets are originally from uh, Doki Doki Panics from Mario Brothers 2 in the US. They become kind of a part of the, the, the Mario universe. Your sword icon, Andrea. Andrea is my wife, so I think she I can trust her to with people if they're being douchebag. But no one's been uh, I've got a spot on channel now, I haven't had any trolls yet. Tad, if you're still out there, I know you got a good cool sword now too. I cannot, unfortunately, it is locked into being green. That's a good question, Shiryasha. I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's head cannon now. That's officially true. Uh, the shiny stone that lets you go fight Culex is clearly the same as like the piece of mammon machine crystal pendant thing. sell those pure waters. I'm not really expecting to run into many ghosts. Alright. Oh man. Cat, if you're still out there, you should tune in here. Something crazy is about to happen. Bowser misses his fortress. Notice all of his minions are gone now. What's up, Jade? Oh jeez, it's Mario! Calm down. Don't let him see you like this. Hey, how have you been? No, not like that. Wrong tone. What's up? What are you doing here? <laughs> You're right, I am kind of screwing over future Marstead by throwing out that holy water. The future version of all of us has an eye patch, is in like a post apocalyptic universe, and has like a sword on their back. Future Shiro Ryasha has a sword and an eye patch. Future Gamer Freak has a sword and an eye patch. Nobody has depth perception as the future, is what we're saying. sword and an eye patch in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. It's locked. Oh man, Bowser's already back. What you gonna do, Bowser? Yes, you are. That's absolutely correct. I'll let you join the Koopa Troop. Oh man, so like, what is it, like, 10 year old Dylan playing Super Mario RPG? Getting Bowser in your party? Whoa! Hey, Shiryasha, thank you for following. Good to have you. Thumbs up. No! There we go. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's get Bowser, and let's never let Bowser leave our party because we love him. I'm gonna put him in the back because it makes sense to have the big guy in the back. I don't think we can really get him any gear just yet. And we're caught up to where we were Oh, 
didn't lock my game up. Andrea. <laughs> this will become important later. Obviously this seesaw is not doing much for us right now, right? Got her back. Why you gotta be so rude? I'm sorry, Toad, it's not your fault the game froze when you're trying to be helpful. Like Wario. Yeah, right? Bowser's my dude. For that reason, among others. I'm pretty sure my endgame party is uh, Mario, Bowser, and uh, the final party member who hasn't joined us yet. This one, you gotta like spin the control pad. Sorry, Jaden. I'm sorry, Andrea. I take it back. There's Booster behind the wall there. He is a unique villain to Super Mario RPG. I like the Booster music. However, a girl fell out of the sky into my lap. I'm sure there's nothing over here. It feels like there should be though, yeah. Disregard. There was a snippet there. <laughs> hey, look at all the hit points Bowser has. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Especially like the WarioWare games. Alright, we're gonna try to land this. Alright, we got it.
this part's funny. State because we got a game freeze earlier. <laughs> the intent is not to abuse safe say we're playing this legit. Pokemon Red, it's a strong first RPG. very much at the end of the game. Actually, you beat any Pokemon game, you've beaten every Pokemon game. Nice. I know that Super Mario RPG introduced the term RPG to a lot of people. My first one was uh, Earthbound, which is the first one I beat on this channel. I knew growing up, we got games from renting them from Blockbuster. We usually didn't buy them. Did you, uh, did you own it or did you rent it until you beat it? Like, oh man, so you should either click on my YouTube links. I, I recorded a VOD of my whole Earthbound playthrough. Watch that sometime, or you should play it. And I, I recommend the latter. The video is pretty cool, but it's an excellent game. Especially if you like Pokemon. Um, it's kind of the prototypical RPG that's set in like 90s America. Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. It's not too late to play Earthbound. After uh, we hit the two hour mark, so in 30 minutes I'm going to be switching to Mother 3, which is the Japan only sequel to Earthbound that has a, someone's done a translation of it. If you like what you see when we play that, you'll probably like Earthbound as well. It's going to have to be the last one, right? We've checked all the other ones. I do want to see more RPGs that have the time attacks based combat where you can play the whole game without ever using that, but it kind of adds something more to just the, the turn based battle. Okay, so B. We have to figure out a specific order here. Thank you for following, Link to the Present. Pleasure to have you here. We do cool games every day from 2 to 6 Pacific. Cat's right next to me. He always he knows how to stay just outside the frame. Do you just have it memorized, Jaden, or did you look it up? It's been too long since I played it. Yeah, man, Link, you'll probably like if you stick around for Mother Three. Um, Mother 3 has a rhythm-based combat component, like it's still turn-based, but if you 
press the button and be, you can keep doing it for a while. It's actually Yeah, Jade, why don't you go ahead? I should know this anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not something that randomly generates in each game. Actually, you know, there's a way for me to know this, right? Like, I could go back. I'm pretty sure, like, when you come into the entrance, it tells you which booster they all are. So we know this one should be the last one, right? I'm pretty sure this is three, then. So I'm pretty sure this is two. Sure, why not? It'll save me the trouble of walking all the way downstairs. You don't just have to guess at it, like there's a sign at the beginning that says Booster the First, Booster the Second. I'm pretty sure the one that looks like Wario is Booster the Third. I don't think Jaden has sound turned on. Oh yeah, what, what game are you recording? Okay, good. That's definitely the last one. We've already tried that one. So I know this is the last one. There's a new Kirby game that's coming out, or it like just came out. Might pick that up and stream it. Uh, know your last, maybe it's you. Yeah. Get in there, get in there. Oh, it's Booster. Got it. Got some experience in the process though, it was all worth it. This part's pretty cool. Get a weapon for Bowser. Oh shit, that's not cool, noob. Can you see it now? Is it just internet issue on your end? Awesome. Yeah, maybe I'll do that as a blind playthrough when I beat Mother 3. I have a capture card so I can do Wii U games. I'd like to do um, Majora's Mask 3D, but the dude, 3DS capture equipment is super expensive. It's like $300, and a brand new 3DS costs like $200. So. Until I build my following enough to actually you know, be able to do subscriber donations, I don't know if I'll be able to get a 3DS capture card. Which is too bad, there's a lot of really cool uh, DS and 3DS games I'd love to stream. Really obscure ones too. Well done with you. Oops. Blind playthrough means that I have never played it before. Um, so like this playthrough of uh, Mario RPG is not a blind playthrough. I've played it before. My Mother 3 is going to start here in about 25 minutes. Even though I'm such a big Earthbound fan, I've never played Mother 3 before. So that is a blind playthrough. Alright, catch you later, noob. It was fun. Hope your internet comes back. <laughs> Very good, Jade. Technically, I've got a cap toad. I can do that one too. Yeah. Eventually, my, my schedule's gonna open up a little bit in March, so we're gonna do three game, three two-hour sessions. One will be a classic game that everybody's played, like you know, Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy. Um, one will be a really good game that's a little bit more obscure, like Okami or Evo for Super Nintendo. Um, I know that a lot of people have played Shadow of the Colossus, not so many people have played Eco, so Eco might be an obscure game. Block. And then we'll do the third one, will be always be a blind game when I've never played before. Oh damn, okay, that sucks. Be like to, to YouTube. You, 
YouTube's been a bitch for me lately. I've just spent all weekend trying to get all my uh, recordings cleaned up. Drock, I go to all this trouble to get him this sweet chain thing and I forget to equip it. I'm an idiot, thank you. I'm just sitting here talking and playing the game. <laughs> what would I do without you guys? I would have been like an hour into the game and found something better than it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Good looking out, as they say. There is not a crafting system in this game. Although, I always panic that they're going to introduce a crafting system late in the game, so I should really throw out items. I discussed that a little bit with my friend uh, Hey Pax, is in chat as well times. Never throw out any items, because one day, you might need that piece of crap starting weapon you had. Uh, oh, it's pretty common to have crafting systems in uh, RPGs. Okay, go like, um, there's a crafting system in uh, Dragon Quest VIII. Yeah, it is, man. We'll do that eventually. My wife's playing through it right now. I think that's why she asked. seconds for you to tell me while I go get something to drink. Left, middle, or right? Alright, let's do it. Alright, man. Good looking out, Drock. First he calls out the, uh... <laughs> First he calls out the, uh... The chain shot, and he gets the right one. I assume when you said one, you meant the left one. give us a pretty good chance of acting first. Um, why don't we give them to Bowser? Oh man, there it is again. I'm glad we just safe stated, yeah? Is it just that he can't unequip stuff, or is it like the zoom suit in particular? Well, it's certainly reproducible. 
Oh, weird. So I can do it if I go from the inventory to their gear, but if I go backwards, the ROM locks up. Alright, well, we'll keep that in mind. We know to be really careful whenever we go in the inventory now. We've had several incidents. Welcome back, dude. You, uh, you didn't miss much. <laughs> we, uh, we locked up again. Unfortunately, we didn't have to go back so far this time. Hey, King March. What's up? That's right. Thank you, Pass Marstead. Guys, we got about 10 minutes until we switch to Mother 3. Um, we'll probably just get up to the next save spot or so. We can get pretty far in 10 minutes in Super Mario RPG. Not so much in like Earthbound or um, Mother 3, so we'll, we'll try to get as close to time as we can here. Look at that, look at that isometric 3D. Oh yeah? Nice. I should just play it on the SNES or on Virtual Console. I'm having so much trouble from it being on an emulator. I only did it because I figured it would make streaming easier. I mean, it did for Earthbound, which is flawless, but this game just does not run, does not want to run well on an emulator. Oh yeah. Yeah, right. Let's beat the whole game in 10 minutes. We that seems suspicious. Nothing? Okay, okay, there's better than an item up there, right? Goodie bag. What is that? <laughs> Let's just do it this way. Whenever we go in the inventory, we're gonna save state. <laughs> right, what's a goodie bag? A pack full of points. Okay, I guess we gotta use it in battle. Toss some of those pure waters. I've got enough of them that. Future Mars said it's not going to be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, King Marsh. I, imager is fine. is not like porn, which I'm, I'm sure it's like a picture of your uh, cartridge, right? Aha! basically like a kid. <laughs> it's up here. I like their system of searching. Like, they independently search behind all the curtains at least once, but... This part's actually kind of stressful. When there's just one, it's not a big deal. Marsh, not sure if you heard, but yeah, it's okay if you put an image link. when they 
they, they fake you out, like right there. Oh man! Ah, oh, way to make me jealous, dude! I see it. Oh, you got it on a, you got it on a Game Boy Advance? You got it on the hardware? You have like an R4 card or something? With the translation patch? Oh man! So jelly! So jelly! <laughs> I swear, I tried to get one of those carts like... I don't know, right when the Mother 3 fan translation came out, I picked one of them up and it didn't work and I was so disheartened I didn't try it again. I know it would be better to play it on a card because then there's no emulation sync issue. So jelly of King Marsh right now. It's like he forgets that I'm Mario. Thanks, dude. May happiness follow you wherever you go. Password is Marston. Got a little beetle there in a cage. Oh yeah, these guys. Let's go ahead and fight. Oh man, let's let's heal Mario. I forgot there was a boss fight here. These guys are part of how you get to the uh, secret casino later in the game. so disheartening is whenever you get something like an R4 cart, anything that's like pirated like that, you know, you take a pretty big risk. Let's see if I still have it in the NES. 
yes, one sec, yep. The, this one and catch you later, Andrea. Uh, these cartridges, these are the most recently made NES cartridges. They're unique new games called Battle Kid and Battle Kid 2. They're these brutally, brutally, brutally hard NES games uh, that you can't get on an emulator. You have to buy them from the guy who presses the carts. It's pretty cool to see people are still making carts. I'll have to look into it. That would be really cool to have. Alright guys, we got two minutes. I think we're just going to go ahead and save state here, even though we're not at a save point. And then we'll start from here tomorrow. We're going to switch to Mother 3 now. So bear with me here while I get stream set up to convert over. Close out of ZSNES. It's, uh, we're just going to close and then restart the stream. The idea is that it makes it easier for me to get my VODs working if I do it that way. So just one second. It's going to cut out very briefly.